Hare Krishna. What we know doesn't define us as much as what we want to know. Knowledge is a very valuable asset in our life journey. And spiritual knowledge is a vital asset in our spiritual journey. Generally, if somebody has a lot of spiritual knowledge, then we may think that they are very spiritually advanced. And if somehow we are not able to gain so much knowledge, we may think that, can I really advance? But actually, knowledge, while it is important, we are defined not so much by what we know as by what we want to know. That means that if our desires are worldly, then even the amount of spiritual knowledge that we have will not be of any relevance for our spiritual growth. Hey, suppose somebody is very spiritually knowledgeable and they quote beautiful moving verses about Krishna, memorized and recited expertly and people get amazed, impressed by seeing their erudition. But after delivering a discourse like this, if their primary thrust is on seeing how much people know that I know, how many people are impressed by what I know, and if their joy comes primarily in wanting to hear people's praise of them and not in remembering Krishna, then their knowledge will not lead them towards Krishna much. So what we know is important, but what we want to know is even more important. Certainly we need some basic spiritual knowledge so that we can direct our journey spiritually. But Krishna says that if our consciousness is misdirected towards the world, if instead of wanting to glorify Krishna and give joy to Krishna, if we want to be the enjoyer, then that will baffle all our spiritual advancement. In 3.32 he states in the Bhagavad Gita, Ye tvetadabhyasu yanto nanutishthanti me matam sarva jnana vimudham sthan vidhinashtana chetasaha So vidhinashtana, sarva jnana, all of the knowledge that they have, sarva jnana vimudham sthan, they are deluded and then why is the knowledge destroyed? Because a chetasaha that they are not conscious of Krishna. Their, con their consciousness is misdirected towards worldly name, fame and glory. And thus their knowledge will not lead to spiritual advancement. And this can apply to us also when we seek spiritual knowledge and try to impress others with our knowledge. Instead, we our focus should be not on trying to impress others, but in trying to inspire ourselves and others to connect with Krishna. And when we focus on that, then whatever little or lot of knowledge we have, if we want to know more about Krishna, we will stay spiritually progressive, we will become spiritually absorbed and ultimately we will attain Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna.